Hello, my wonderful subscribers. I've had so many thoughts today about like, what's the difference between people thinking that you need them and looking needy. Needing people seems to have more of a positive sound to it. It's networking, it's community, it's love. You need them. Being needy always seems to have a very negative connotation to it. There's always this very negative stigma, like they were too needy for me. But what is the difference? I dug back through my memories and I'd like to share a few for you today so you can really see the difference between neediness and needing someone. Oh yeah, <laughs> let's talk. I wanted to let you guys know that instead of being needy today, I decided to show my self-love instead by painting my nails with ILNP's bottoms up. Please grab a bottle of your favorite nail polish and tell me what color in the comments you're deciding to show your self-love with today. Being with someone who needs you versus being with someone who is needy. Everyone wants to feel needed. And the best way I can describe what it feels like to want to be needed by someone you want them to need you in the sense that you love them. And if you were gone, they would miss you. There'd be a hole there. There would be a void to fill. They would think about you. I feel like that's what it is to want someone to need you. It's kind of like nobody wants someone in their life who's needy, but they want someone to need them. They want to feel important. It always feels nice when someone genuinely cares about you. They need you in their life. Now, if you have ever been with someone who is needy or you've been a needy person yourself, I know I'm certainly guilty of this. The feeling is different. When you need someone, you can get on with your day. You can do your homework. You can go to school, you can go to work, you can deal with your boss, you can deal with the traffic on the way home. You don't need someone to be there for all of those things. And when you have someone in your life that you are reporting all of these things to, that's when you start to cross over into the danger zone and look a bit needy. I remember I was in a relationship with a guy once that I was texting way too much, way too much. And I was texting him every little mundane complaint I had about my life. And that was another thing I did wrong that also made me look very needy. I was texting him things that were sort of downers. Like one day I was complaining because I had so much going on at work that I forgot to pay my electric bill. Oh my God, who cares? Save the text. When you go out on dates with people, you want to have something to talk about. And I'm not saying you should talk about your electric bill on dates. Don't do that. But people want to be around people that make them feel good. And if you're constantly reporting every little silly, boring thing about your day, it doesn't make people feel good. It's kind of becomes a hassle for them to even start checking their phone for you. Have you ever had a girlfriend that did this? I used to work with a girl and every day something, even the smallest negative thing that happened in her life, she had to tell absolutely everybody and every single customer that came in, she would repeat the same sad story. She was clearly looking for validation and people to feel bad for her because she couldn't reach down and find these things in herself and process it and deal with it on her own. She needed other people. She needed that, oh, I feel bad for you energy to come back her way in order to feel better about things in her life. And it made her look very needy. And she wasn't much fun to work around either. I'll tell you that much. 
that's what goes hand in hand with neediness. A lot of times when people are described as needy, they're the kind of people that get dumped. Because it's not just that you are displaying yourself as someone who cannot handle their own life. You start to become a downer to be around. I mean, how much do people in your life want to learn that the price of your college textbooks has gone up? If you have been in a long-term relationship with someone, you know, you sit down to dinner and of course you talk about what goes on in your day. But when you are just dating someone, casually dating, or you've been dating for like less than a year, you do not need to bombard people with every single thought that comes into your head. And you'll be more attractive if you don't do that because you'll be like the story that they want to keep reading. They want to keep finding out more and more about you. You're a mystery to solve because you're not just spilling everything out, every thought, everything that happens to you. I'm, I'm sorry you had to get flea medication for your cat. You're letting all the romance out of the relationship by being too needy. I had a friend who's not a friend anymore because I thought she was being too needy. And one of the things I noticed that she did is I would post something on Facebook that had, and this is a girl that I talked to quite a bit. It's not like I was neglecting her. I would post something on Facebook about a happy day at the park with my daughter. It had nothing to do with her. And you could see how everyone in the comments was like, wow, your daughter's so cute. Looks like you had a fun day at the park. It was relevant to the photo that I posted on Facebook. But then when she would make her comment, it would have nothing to do with whatever I posted. It would be totally about her. Oh my God, I miss you. I need to see you soon. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. It feels like pressure. And not only that, I think one of the things we don't realize when we're acting needy is it comes off as selfish. It is always about you. I've seen things that say in, in defense of needy people, or you're not really needy. You just don't have the right relationships. Now there might be something to that. If you are somebody who is coming off as needy, it might be because you're in a friendship or a relationship with someone who's a bit more avoidant, a bit more guarded, and this alone can send your anxious attachment, it'll just rocket it straight into space, which is pretty convenient because eventually they're going to start asking for space. Speaking of people that you work with, here's another good example of someone who shows that they need someone who's showing vulnerability, but it doesn't look needy. I worked with a guy who every day I went into work, he was in the same, he had a pretty good disposition. And one day we were working and he started to open up to me about this girl he was seeing who was leaving him for another guy and he was really upset about it. Now this is someone that I worked with for a really long time and they just didn't show up to work every day with some trauma story on their sleeve. This was one of the first times he'd ever really opened up to me I didn't feel like he was being needy. I was flattered that he thought I was the kind of person that he could actually be vulnerable with and share this side of his life with because he didn't do it every single day. That makes you feel needed by someone. That can make you feel loved by someone. Another example of a good way of needing someone is if you're dating someone and you pretty much take care of yourself. But one day you call, let's say you call your boyfriend because you got a flat tire and because you're not constantly dumping all your problems on him, he's happy to be your hero. He wants to come to your aid. If you're someone who has a flat tire on the regular, it's like every time he talks to you, there's another flat tire in your life, i.e., Someone said something bitchy to you at work or the landlord won't fix one of the pipes in a timely manner. And this, this is all just, you know, a disaster. 
people aren't going to be so eager to come to your aid because they're going to feel like you always need aid and you're exhausting and you're needy. Make sure when you reach out to people, they feel like your confidant and your hero, not your crutch. Just wait till you see this color. It is super fun. And just so you know, I will not be texting some guy about my electric bill today. I will definitely be showing myself love instead by painting my nails with ILNP's bottoms up. It's so pretty. It's such a funky, cool green. It, it's, it's like even if you're wearing a dark outfit, it just makes it pop. <laughs> I feel like this is a subject that we could really go on and on about. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because I will definitely be doing more videos on the difference between needing someone versus neediness. It's very important so that you can keep relationships that you want longer. My name is Maria Adriana. You did not have to live my life, but I certainly hope you can learn something from it. Thank you for visiting the other half.